Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my channel. My name is Miley. If you are new here, I do a new DIY every single week. So subscribe to my channel if you would like to. So this week I have two Ikea flips, hacks, whatever you want to call it. And I paired these two DIYs together because they are both square designs. So that is the genius planning behind this video. So the first DIY I am doing this week is the Ikea mirror hack that I have seen all over the internet. And when I was at Ikea, I was on my way to check out with all my stuff and I stumbled across the LAC side table, which is a $9 side table. And when I saw it, I instantly knew I wanted to try the tile table thing that I've also seen all over the internet. So those are my two DIYs this week. Let's get into it. Okay, up first we have the tile table. And I have to be honest with you, this is the first time I've done any tiling in my life. And since I didn't know what I was doing, Hey dad, I'm gonna be doing some tiling. What do I need to get? After talking to my dad and explaining to him the project, he told me I'm gonna need adhesive, grout, a grout booster, this tool, and some spacers, a sponge, and of course, a fluffy little buddy for support. So the first step in making this table was sticking the tile on, and for this step, I figured taking the legs off might make it a bit easier, and then I just had to get the bucket of adhesive open. Right here, or do I pry? I think it goes open. Do you think you can get it? Perfect. Ha uh ha. -huh. Three hours later. So the next morning I came out to start the painting process and I will say I was tempted to paint this black but if you've seen the thumbnail you know I painted it orange. So I'm going to be putting this table out on our patio and I don't have this space fully designed yet. All I know is I want to use some color and over the weekend I stumbled across these pots while doing yard work and I fell in love with them and I drew inspiration for this table from these pots. So normally when painting tile, if you want to make the paint really stick, you would use an adhesive primer, paint, and then use a top coat. But I had this idea that maybe, just maybe, if I didn't use the adhesive primer, painted, and used a top coat, when I went to grout, some of the paint would come up to give this table a distressed look to mimic the pots. <laughs> By the third day of this project, I could finally get to grouting, and one tool I needed that my dad forgot to mention so I had to go out and get it was a trowel to do the grouting. And let's just say I don't think professional grouting is in my future. And I also do wish I left the legs off this table. It would have made this process much easier and maybe a little less messy.
Okay, let's get to this IKEA mirror hack. Honestly, I feel like I need a badge that says I conquered the IKEA mirror hack because, man, this project was all over the place and I didn't think it would be that way because I had a pretty good plan. I did all of the measurements and planning I needed going into this. And when I went to pick up this piece of plywood, since I knew the length, I had one of the guys at Lowe's cut this down to the length I needed. And when I got it home, all I had to do was cut the width. So I started off by attaching all the trim pieces. I thought I was good since I had done all these measurements and calculated everything out. And I wanted to see what the mirror was going to look like. So I started to lay out all the mirrors and dowels that would go in between the mirrors and realized they all didn't fit. And I was in denial. So I continued to lay out all the pieces. And at the same time, I was trying to figure out what I was going to do to fix this. I had the idea of gluing down all the mirrors and then gluing the dowels down kind of on top of them slightly, but that didn't seem like a good idea. So I removed one of the side pieces of trim and left that off until it was all done. And then I sat and I stared. And I stared and I wondered what to do next because I wanted to make sure everything fit. And finally, I decided to get started cutting all the horizontal pieces. So like I said, this project was kind of all over the place. My original plan was to stick all the mirrors down while I stuck the dowels down because I had this fear I would get to the end and all the mirrors wouldn't fit. But then I realized painting this with all the mirrors down was going to be a big old pain. So I came up with a solution where I would put the mirrors down, put the dowels down, and mark where the dowels needed to go with a pencil.
So I got all of that done and I thought I was in the clear. We were almost done. We just had to pop these mirrors in. But I think this step can be summed up with... This was supposed to be the easy part. You know, it was supposed to be easy. I was supposed to just pop these little mirrorsy mirrors in. And now it's not the easy part. So this is the point where I realize these mirrors aren't perfectly square. Thanks, Ikea. And when I went to put these mirrors in, a few different things happened. In some squares, the mirror would pop right in. In some squares, it was tight, so then I would rotate the mirror and it would pop right in. And then there was the third thing that was kind of my fault. I didn't account for the fact that the paint was going to add some thickness to the dowels. So when I went to put the mirror in, it wouldn't properly just pop right in. So I did break some mirrors in the process. Luckily I had some extra ones, but when it got to the point where I had no more extra mirrors and I couldn't break a mirror, this became pretty nerve wracking. And when I finally popped the last mirror in, it was a huge sigh of relief. And that is why I am going to be making a badge for myself that says I conquered the IKEA mirror hack. Because when I was done with this, one, I was so happy I didn't break another mirror, and two, I was so happy to have this mirror. A mirror like this is actually very expensive, and I would never own something like this if I didn't make it myself. So, highly recommend this DIY. And actually, I recommend both these DIYs because they are both really expensive if you were to just buy them. If you liked my take on both of these DIYs, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button so you know when I post a video, and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys!